This is the weather CLI app we wrote a while back. It's okay if you haven't seen that video, because what we're doing today doesn't involve everything here, just a couple of things. So we have a CLI app that prints out the forecast. I can open up the terminal, type in sun, and get the forecast for the rest of the day. Here we have a query variable set to my local town, then we have the weather API API key, and then here we can override the query if a command parameter is being passed in. So if we type in sun Paris, we'll get the weather for Paris. What I want to do is make it so the next time we run sun, Paris is being picked up as a default location. Currently, it just goes back to Yash. One way to achieve this is by reading and writing to a settings.json file every time we run the program. So let's do it. The first thing I'm going to do is create a settings struct containing both the query and the API key. So we'll have type settings struct, and then we'll have query as a string, and API key as a string. Let's add a settings variable. We'll have query as yash, and then we'll grab the API key. And of course, we now need to replace these with this. So I'll remove these two. Here we'll have settings.query, settings.query, and then settings.api key. Now, if we run the program again, it should work. So we'll do go run main.go, and we get the forecast for Yash. Now, whenever this main function is executed, the first thing we'll need to do is load the settings. So we could have like a settings.load method. Then if the user passes a command parameter, we could have like a settings.save method. Let's go ahead and add the load method. We'll do func and we'll have a settings pointer as the receiver. Load, and basically what we need to do here is load data from a JSON file and update the settings variable. So let's say we'll read file settings.json and this will return us data and error. If we have an error, so if error is not nil, then we'll print out no settings loaded and simply return. Otherwise, we'll take this data, which is a slice of bytes, and unmarshal it into our settings variable. So we'll do error equals JSON, unmarshal, data, and we'll point it to our settings. And of course, if error is not nil, then we'll panic. Let's go to our main, uncomment this, open a terminal, run go, run main.go. No settings loaded because there is no settings.json file. So let's add one. Here we'll have query as Paris and API key and let's grab that. Let's go ahead and run it again. And we have Paris. If we change this to Bucharest, run it again, we have Bucharest. So we we'll figure out the loading of the settings. Let's save them. We'll have func and then a settings pointer as the receiver. And then what we want to do here is write to that settings.json file. But before we can do that, we need to take our settings struct and marshal it into a JSON string. We'll do JSON marshal and pass it our settings. This will give us back a slice of bytes and an error. Let's check and panic if we have an error. Otherwise, we'll take this slice of bytes and write it to our settings.json file. So we'll do os write file settings.json, data, and we also need the file permissions. This will give us back an error, so let's check for that and panic. Let's go ahead and uncomment this, open the terminal, run the command, run it with the parameter now. We get the forecast for Paris, and if we run it without Paris, we still get Paris because the location is loaded from our settings.json file. However, there is a problem. If I am to build this app, so I'll do go build, and then move it inside my bin directory, so I'll do mv sun user local bin. If I go in a terminal 
and list out the files, I only have this lol directory. If I execute the sun command though, and list out the files, I have this settings.json file. If I move to lol and run sun again, list out the files, we also get this settings.json file. So this file is being created every time we run the sun command. Ideally, it should only exist in one place, something like under the home path under sun.settings.json. So our sun settings should only be saved here instead of everywhere we run the command. So let's make this happen. We'll start with our save method. So we'll go here and we'll need the home path. To grab it, we can use the OS package and then call the user home dir function. This will return us the home path and an error. Let's check for the error and panic. Otherwise, we'll continue and basically append home here, or prepend more like. We'll have sun and then settings.json. Let's run this. I'll do go run main.go Paris. And we have an error saying no such file or directory. So what's happening here is we are trying to write to this file but the sun directory doesn't exist. So if I go here and do an ls, there is no sun directory. So before we attempt to write to a file, we need to make sure the directory we're trying to write in exists. One way to do this is to use the make dir all function on the OS package. So we can do os make dir all, pass it the path, which will be home plus slash sun, and then the permissions, which will be 0, 0700. This will allow us to create files inside that directory. Of course, this can return an error. So we'll do error equals os make their all and then panic if we have one. Let's run this again. Go run main.go Paris. We have no errors. And if I go in my home directory and list out the directories, we have sun here. And if I do a cat settings, we have our settings saved in the correct directory, which is what we wanted. Let's do the same thing when we are loading the settings. So we'll go here, we'll probably need the home path again. Paste this in, and this time we'll load from home plus sun slash settings.json. Let's run this again with yash and then without a command parameter. And there we go. Let's remove this file to make sure we are loading from the correct place. And we are. Finally, let's do a couple of improvements. The first thing I want to change is the way we are doing paths. This right here is dangerous because operating systems handle paths in different ways. For example, Windows uses backslashes, so this would cause an error. To make sure we don't run into any problems, we can use the file path package. Instead of concatenating strings like this, we can do file path, join, and then pass a list of paths we want to join. So we'll have home, sun, and then settings.json. Let's use this in other places as well. And then here we'll only have home and sun. I'll save, run this again, and there we go. The other thing I want to improve has also something to do with paths. We're doing all this, get me the home directory, and then join these paths together, and then these paths together. I'd rather have a function doing all this. So let's add one. I'll go here and say func settings path, and this will receive any number of segments and it will return a string. Inside it, we'll grab the home directory. And what I want to do now is prepend the home path and the sun segment to the received slice of segments. There is no prepend function in Go, but we can still use the append function. We can do segments and then we'll do append. We'll create a new slice of strings formed of home and sun, and then we'll append the rest of the segments. So this will create a new slice starting with home and sun, and append whatever we pass in as parameter. And finally, of course, we can use the file path package to join them all together. Let's go ahead and use this. 
we'll go here and we'll say settings path settings.json and we no longer need this okay we'll go here and just say settings path and we no longer need this and here we'll say settings path and pass in settings.json and I think we're done let's run it let's use yash and we are good to go finally we can also use this check function I have here that checks for an error and panics if it has one so let's find all the occurrences and do check error except for here of course there we go let's run it let's try paris let's try london and let's try without any parameter and we are good to go if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it share it subscribe click the bell button all that good stuff bye